Hello guys, today let's experiment once again with ChatGPT for Laravel to generate something. My first video on generating CRUD with ChatGPT became pretty popular and resonated with a lot of you, so let's see what ChatGPT can generate for us on a more practical level. And this is my personal problem, which I will try to solve with ChatGPT. So I create a lot of demo projects and part of those demo projects are usually seeding some data and creating factories, seeds and migrations. So this is the query that I will try to run with ChatGPT. Generate Laravel Cedar and factory for the model, specific model. And I even know the columns up front, transaction date, amount and comment. And let's see what it generates. And let's compare that with the actual seeds and factories that I've created for my project manually. Let's launch it. Here's an example of Cedar and factory. Great, Cedar, okay. Transaction, and I will actually comment all of that after it's finished. Right, run factory, great. It generated the Cedar class and the factory with faker define mm -hmm, transaction date, amount, and comment. So I've provided those specific fields. This will generate Cedar, okay, amount and comment. Right, great work, it seems. So I see good parts and bad parts here. First, good part that it actually generated the columns with their logic, although I didn't provide it. So transaction date, I just mentioned it as a field name, column name. So it understood that it is a date time. Amount, it understood that it's a float, it's a decimal. Comment, instead of just doing fake text, it does faker sentence. So if you don't know some fake library features, it may suggest you quite interesting ones and new ones that you maybe didn't know before. And in general, I'm happy that it created Cedar and Factory. But then the downsides are quite a few. First, it creates app transaction as a model. So it's using the old version of how the models are placed in Laravel project. Since Laravel 8, from what I remember, it's in app models. So that's the first thing that I would need to change. In general, let's actually run through the changes that I would make if I want to use that code. So app models is the first one. Then the syntax factory transaction class. I'm not sure if it still works in Laravel 9. It was the old syntax, but maybe it does work. I'm not sure. But the way how I use it currently in Laravel 9 is this syntax. So model, factory, count and create. And this is the thing with ChatGPT. It is loaded with the data until the end of 2021, which means that everything that was released in Laravel and in Laravel open source in 2022, ChatGPT doesn't even know about it because it's generating the text and the code from the examples loaded into the AI mechanism, right? So it is using the old method of generating factories in Laravel. So in general, if you generate something with ChatGPT, you should double check if there's no newer syntax for the code. And this is the example of the factory, which is old way. Use faker and then pass faker as a parameter in the newest version of generating factories. This is the actual syntax. Definition return array. So it's different from this syntax. Again, I'm not sure if it would still work in Laravel 9 if you just copy and paste it. Maybe it would. But this is not the default if you generate make cedar and make factory. But if we compare my implementation with ChatGPT, again, what is done better is faking the data with faker library. So instead of doing this, it just calls faker date time. But it doesn't use the fake helper, for example, which appeared in Laravel 9 from what I remember. So yeah, in general, I'm coming to the same conclusion with ChatGPT in general. It can be a helper to generate some code, but then you need to understand that code well and know which parts to use or which parts to customize. And also thinking about it, now if I want to actually use that code, I need to copy the code and then find or generate with make Cedar that file in my Laravel project and then paste it and then edit it. It's really not convenient for me, to be honest. So personally, I think the breakthrough for the developers to generate the code with ChatGPT would come with the integrations with IDE or some packages or some terminal. So I could run in my PHP storm, for example, hey, ChatGPT, generate me something, and it would generate it within my IDE with already generated files and potentially fixing the namespaces and stuff like that. Or in terminal, I would run PHP artisan make ChatGPT something, 
and it would generate the files, like we do all the time with artisan commands. I guess if it's not done yet by someone, maybe, I don't know, it will be done in upcoming years, and then we may see a breakthrough of auto-generated code with ChatGPT. But for now, since it's an online chat, it remains as a good helper to find solutions, suggestions, potential other methods to do the same thing, but not to use as is for copy pasting the code in real projects. I would not risk that. What do you think about this example? Any comments, suggestions, or what would be the features that would actually make sense to delegate to such AI assistant? I think from time to time I will make more experiments and report you about it on YouTube and on Twitter. So follow me there and see you guys in other videos.